arm and then I just make it what? And this are my partner. Hi, my name is Lao Weizhe. Hi, my name is Jerome Giovanni. Together, we have developed a product that will solve the number one problem that being faced by all grocery store in Malaysia. Introducing RFID grocery card built to help customer to cut short their time spent while queuing as it is the most time consuming process while doing grocery shopping. Are you familiar with this kind of situation? Well, these are the common problems faced by all Malaysians when making payment. From the video, we can learn that Malaysians face problems like 1. Customer have to queue long before making payment and 2. Customer then need to put the item one by one on the counter and then the third we can see from the video is that Cashier will have to scan the item one by one. Hence, we can conclude that these process are very time consuming. For this project, there is two methods to use in the research methodology. Those are case study research and observation. For case study research, we went to search the internet for the past case study and analyze them truly and make our conclusion based on the data found. For the observation, we went a few supermarkets to confirm our hypothesis. It doesn't surprise us that most supermarkets we visited are facing the same problem. This project will be equipped with RFID technology and IoT system which are aligned with this year mechanical department final year project team which are Industrial Revolution 4.0. The system itself consists of few components which are RFID reader, a microcontroller which in our case we are using not MCU microcontroller and a database management system. But how does it work though? In order for the system to run, the three components must interface with each other under one internet connection. RFID scanner will scan the RFID tag that is placed on the item. Next, a signal of information will be sent to the microcontroller. Once received, the information will be sent to database management system. The database management system will then collect and organize the data and prepare it for download. It is pretty much easy to implement the project in daily grocery shopping activity. This is the implementation of the project during the purchasing session. This is the implementation of the project during the checkout session. Is it right? Now let's talk about the project impact. From the project, we suggest that first, society will directly end indirectly involved in the advancement of the technology. Second, creating new job scope as the grocery cart needs maintenance. Third, shorter interaction time between customer and cashier. Well, it is what we want, especially during this pandemic time. Last but not least, customer won't have to queue long before making payment. In conclusion, we hope that this project will contribute to effort of making Malaysia a developed nation, we strongly believe that our project RFID Grocery Card will be the face of the future due to its purpose in everyone's life. We hope that our project will be an inspiration for everyone who is interested in taking this project to another level. And that is all. Thank you.